Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to use the box sign feature to uh, send documents for signatures, uh, digital signatures that is, or electronic signatures, however you want to say it. All right, so this is available to all box accounts, so if you use the free account, I think you get five per month and then it goes up from there depending on what account you have. All right, so we're going to extend this uh, event contract, so there's two ways you could do it. You could either go to the sign section here and then request a signature. Or you could do it right from your document here. Right here, sign, request signature, or sign myself. So if you want to sign something and then send it off, you could use this option. But we're going to request someone else sign the signature and then have it sent back to us. So we're going to do this. So it'll automatically load your document in this preview window. And if you didn't use this option, if you went right from the uh, uh, request to signature, you'd have a little plus box here where you could actually upload a document from your computer or pick one from your box uh, drive. So either way will work. All right, so we have this uh, event contract. So automatically change it to a PDF. So we just need to scroll down to where we want the signature. And then right here, we could add the recipients. Let's do a... Okay. So now we have a recipient here. If we click on them, we can make him a signer or an approver. So we want him to be a, a signer. So we'll keep that. And then for the sender, you could get a copy, be a signer, or be an approver. So if you pick get a copy, you'll just get a copy when it's signed. But we're going to pick the approver so we could actually approve the signature. So that's, this part's up to you. All right, so now you have your signature fields here. So we're going to do a signature. So we just drag and drop it where we want it to go. And then you could do a date signed if you want. And you have all these other options here. And then if you want to change your uh, default save location to where it's going to save your signature requests and the files once they're signed, you could do that. Uh, email notifications. So if we send a notification to Todd via email. Just like that. And you have some other options here. So I would expire, file name, and so on. So once we have the uh, uh, receiver here, to who's going to be signing the uh, form or file, document, whatever you want to call it, and then uh, have their email address put in here, and we have our fields put in place here, just click on send. Okay, so it was successful. And now you'll get this, since you're the acceptor, um, of the signature, you're going to have to agree to the same terms as the uh, person who signs it, which you don't have to do right now. But we'll go ahead and we'll just go ahead and do it just to get it out of the way. You could read the uh, uh, policies if you want, accept and continue, and then we could approve it. But we're not going to approve it obviously because it hasn't been signed yet. So let's get back out of here. And now, if we go to sign here, we could see our requests. So here's the one we just did: event contract in progress. View details. So Jim B needs to approve, Todd needs to sign it, it's been sent. And you could delete it, cancel it, revise it, download it, send a reminder. So now we're going to go over to Todd's email here. Okay, you can see he got the email saying to review the document. Okay, so let's check the agreement here. Accept and continue. All right, let's kind of reduce it down here. Okay, so now we have the signature box. So if we click in there, we have the option to draw in a signature, type in a signature, uh, upload a signature, like an image file, or use a saved one. So we'll just pick this uh, type one here. So we'll just pick a default one. Click on Adopt. I'm not sure why it says Adopt. So that's there. There's the date. It's filled in with today's date. Uh, so when we're done here, we could just click on Sign and Finish. You know, it says it's refin it says you're finished and you receive an email with a signed document and so on. So now if we go back to the uh, sender here. Okay, so it still says in progress. That's because it hasn't been approved. So if we click on it here, you can see it's been completed. It's been signed. Uh, now Jim B needs to uh, review and approve. So here's that term again. Accept and agree. We can see the signature and the date. It looks good. We just click on Approve. 
and now we can see that it's been signed. Then if we go to our All Files, My Signed Documents, here's the event contract. Just like that. Then you'll also have this uh, signing log, which tells you all the uh, information about the uh, security hash and the document ID, so all the official stuff here, disclosures. And if we go back to Todd's email, okay, then we got this box signed, completed. Document has been completed. So I can see it's a pretty simple process here. So like we're saying, if you want to do it right from the sign process, if you want to pick the document first, you could do a request signature, and then you'll see you have this screen. You could just drag and drop one from your desktop or pick a file from Box, and then you could, uh, then all the other steps are the same after that. All right, hopefully that makes sense. So give it a shot and see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.